Oh, there's the Oreo. For Melissa me. Hahn and her father Edward Hahn are thankful for the new technology allowing them to enjoy life's simple pleasures. Both are living with Parkinson's disease. You become a clock watcher. Your life is revolves around your Parkinson's medicine. Three times a day I had a half hour period where I had to get my stuff done. Melissa was taking more than 10 pills a day and had severe tremors and cramping when she decided brain surgery was her only option. Last summer, the 41-year-old underwent deep brain stimulation, or DBS, at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York. In essence, that's a, a pacemaker for the brain. While DBS has a long history, Dr. Brian Coppell is using the latest technology approved by the FDA. During surgery, leads are implanted that deliver electrical impulses to control Parkinson's symptoms. Giving us an uh, ability to get better, perhaps, side effect control, uh, perhaps even better symptom control. Weeks later, the stimulation is fine-tuned using an iPad. Here we go. In a follow-up appointment, doctors gradually turn the technology off. We're seeing more and more tremor come out. Oh my God. Giving Melissa's father. I can't believe this. All he needed to see. Did you watch that video and her success and still need some more convincing or did you know that, okay? No, at that point I think I was, I was convinced. This is how severe Edward's tremors were without medication before the 65 year old underwent the same surgery in March. Now he's able to text for the first time in years. He and his daughter are enjoying activities they thought they'd never do again. There's not a day that goes by now that I don't get myself dressed and I'm so grateful that I can get my clothes on myself. Both still take medication, but only a fraction of the pills they once relied on. They say their only regret is not getting the surgery sooner. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, Wading River, New York.